What's going on guys, my geeks and gamers, it's me, Slammy Yo Yo, back with another video, and today I'm going to be looking at all of the Trap Team villain evolutions in Skylanders Trap Team and deciding which is better, their original skin or their evolved skin. Just a reminder that this is all my opinion and some might not agree with what I say, so let me know if you think differently in the comments. Without further ado, BOOM! Starting off with Air is Bad Juju. And I'm going to have to go with her evolved version of her since it just looks slightly cooler with the black and gold. Uh, Buzzer Beak just looks better in blue honestly, so evolved it is. I personally think that Dreamcatcher's evolved skin is horrific. Her original is way better in my opinion. And finally for Frankenstein, I'd say his evolved is better just because I like the blue that the Avila can have in this game. Uh, plus his wood stain is darker too, which I like. Now onto the dark element with Ice Cream. Her original is better, that's all. Uh, again, Fisticuffs being an Avilikin with the blue, Evolved is a win to me. What was Activision thinking with Nightshade's Evolved skin? He's just green, and it's boring. Original is better for him. And lastly, for Taekwon Crow, uh, it was very difficult since both are super cool. But I'll have to go with his evolved skin just because it looks a tiny bit cooler than his original design. Earth is next up, and first we have his Chomp Chest. As much as I like his original skin, his evolved skin is just a little better to me with the Golden Trim. Golden Queen's evolved form just sucks. Like, come on, you go from this to this. What happened? Original is better. Graveclobber's original is better to me because his evolved form is, just has an odd color scheme and I don't think they fit very well. And lastly, Tussle Sprout looks like he had the McDonald's Grimace shake with his evolved form and I mean it's okay because like red cabbage but I, I just like his original better. Aha! Fire time! Starting off with Chef Pepperjack, uh, both of his skins are pretty okay in my opinion. However, his original has more of that iconic chef look, so I'm going with the original. You have no idea how stupid I am. I've never gotten the pun of Grenade's name until writing the script. It's because he's grinning. Get it? Anyways, both of these skins are good. Uh, reminds me of that Mario minigame on the DS, but I like his original a little better. Scrap Shooter is another Avilikin, so you know what that means. Evolved. Smokescream sorta of has the same treatment since his mech turns blue, and I like it a little more. Uh, it makes him look a little bit like Optimus Prime or, I don't know, Mecha DDD from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, so evolved. Chaos. Let's get something clear. Chaos is better than Chaos. Chaos bad. Chaos villain quest bad. Chaos skin bad. Chaos skin better. Chaos skin iconic. Original Chaos better. Chaos. Let there be light, villains. Firstly, we have Blastertron. And this one was super tough since I love both his designs so much. Activision made such a good decision with his color palette. However, his purple is a bit more iconic and I, I just like purple more than blue, so original. I5 ex exists. His evolved skin exists. But are you kidding me? He's just green again. I'm going with original. Okay, I know I've chosen the original skins for the past 9 villains. I swear there's some evolved skins that are better, they just haven't come up yet, okay? So just trust me. Okay, Lobgoblin! What can I say about him? Re really, what, what can I say? His magnet just turns blue. And that's good enough for me, baby! So evolved! Although Luminous's white armor gives off more of the aesthetic of the light element more, his blue armor is just so much cooler, so... I'm, I'm gonna go with Evolved. Okay, on to life. Broccoli Guy turns into Cauliflower Guy, and I don't really think it went well. He should say Broccoli Guy, so original. Chompy just turns orange? This was such a missed opportunity to use the Enfuego Chompy or Frigid Chompy from Giants, but nope, just make it orange, so original is better. The Chompy Mage. Chompy Mage's original design is too iconic, and come on, making him blue? Sure, it'd be cool if he was a frigid Chompy Mage like this, but it's not even the right blue, so I'm going with his original skin. Now both Cuckoo Clocker skins are cool, I'll admit, but I just like the red a little bit more, so original. 
Sheep creep just goes from a white sheep to a black sheep, and it's a neat idea, but the white sheep is a little more iconic in the Skylanders franchise, so I'm gonna just go with the original. Now, Shield Shredder has the Vilican treatment of a blue evolved skin, but it's garbage. He's hardly blue. The only difference I really see is his metal turns gold, so his original is just better to me. Now with Magic, there's only three villains, and starting off is Bombshell. Both of his designs are pretty bland, but I gotta say his evolved skin looks a lot better because his original is too boring and realistic, but the evolved one is more cartoony in a way. Peñata sadly got the chompy treatment of turning orange. His original is so much more colorful, like a real Peñata, so I like the original more. Rage Mage's evolved skin looks kind of like a legendary, which I really like, so I'm sitting over there with evolved. Tech, my favorite element. Now what's our first comparison? Oh, are you kidding me? This is the best you can do, Activision. Make his shorts blue. I'll take it. Evolved. Bruiser Cruz's evolved skin is menacing, with the red eyes and red boxing gloves, and I love it. Evolved. My favorite Doom Raider, Dr. Crankcase, has pretty neat change. I love purple, and his outfit is like pretty much all purple, so evolved it is. Mablobs' evolved skin is better to me purely because it contrasts his skin more than his original. Shred not. Now this is how you do an evolved skin. Look at this, it's amazing! Evolved for sure. Trolling Thunder's camo army design on his evolved skin is slightly better to me than his metallic orange original design, so evolved. Second to last element now is Undead, and we start off with the menacing Bone Chompy. I do really like the blue design on Bone Chompy's evolved skin, and is much better than the bland skeleton design of the original Bone Chompy, so evolved. Put Sickle now, and what a downgrade this is. I love his original black design far better than this one, so original. Come on, another green evolved skin? Now green is my favorite color and all, but this just does not fit. Okay, Activision, are you listening? Original is far superior. Wolfgang looks pretty cool with both of his skins, but I like his original just a little bit more. But what's neat about the Evolve skin is it kind of looks like his Dark Edition and Imaginators to me. I don't know. Water, the final element of this video! Brawlin' Chain's Evolve form is a little better to me because I like his gray design and red bandana. Chillbill just gets a more kind of royal blue outfit, nothing special really, so... I, I like the original. Now Cross Crow has somewhat of a legendary skin like Rage Mage did, so I'm going with the Evolved. Slobber Trap just looks terrible as a whole, and his Evolved skin is also really bad, so I'm going with the original. The Gulper. Are you kidding me? Another green skin! <sighs> original. The final villain, Threat Pack. Both of his designs are good to me, but... I'm, I'm just going to go with the original because it's slightly better. Okay, and that is it. That is what I think about each and every Trap Team Villain Evolution. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a like and subscribe if you want. And of course, let me know what your favorite Evolve skin is or if you think differently than I do on the Evolve skins in the comments. Anyways, I'm Sami Yo-Yo, and have a great day.